Most teenagers spend all of their time doing useless bad habits. I was one of those teenagers. I would spend all of my time doing things that brought me no benefits in my life. If someone told me what I'm going to tell you in this video, I would have been in a better place in my life right now. I would have been closer to my goals. But no one speaks about this because everyone does it. Everyone does these bad habits I'm going to go over. And it's really hard to get out of now. If you just follow what I say in this video, I promise you, you will be better than 99% of teenagers. You will achieve so much more to them and you will achieve it at a faster rate. The first addiction that I had that was really bad was playing video games. And a lot of teenagers can relate to this because the Fortnite days, every single person was playing. Everyone was playing and I spent hours on this game. I would come home from school and spend four to six hours and then Saturday, Sunday, that's like eight to 10 hours. Like I kid you not, I was starting to get like this flabby fat. I was not developing correctly. I was starting to get gyno because I would just sit down eat junk food and play all day and then quarantine came and that's when i played warzone that got even worse because i literally had nothing to do in my free time so what i do i spent all of my time playing video games just imagine we spent that time playing video games towards learning a new skill we would have been honestly masters at that skill because if you spend around ten thousand hours that's when you truly master a skill and I'm not gonna lie, I've probably spent around 10,000 hours playing video games. So if I just picked a skill and every day just practice that skill instead of practicing in a virtual reality where nothing is real, you know, that's the problem. The reason why people get so addicted to video games is because they hate their life. But in the video game, they're like such a high level, such high status. And that was me. I hated my life. You know, I was like a short, flabby, fat kid. I got no girls. I had no confidence in myself so what did i do i came home and i went to play video games where i was good where i was getting the respect from others getting respect from online people instead of just focusing on my own life i wish i could go back in time and tell my younger self to start hitting the gym to start reading books do anything i mean quarantine was the best opportunity and i wasted all of it so if you're a teenager please don't play video games don't listen to the bs that they're going to tell you like oh you could play one hour a day don't listen to that Getting into the top 1% of men is very easy right now. I'm not going to lie. Getting in the top 1% of men is very, very easy. But if you want to get in the 0.1% of men, that's where it gets hard. Because the 1% of men, they're trying to optimize everything in their life. They're trying to not waste a single second. So if you're coping and telling yourself, I had a hard day, I could play one hour of video games, then reality is going to hit you when this guy has your dream results and you're still stuck wondering what happened. So right after playing video games and being addicted to that heavily i moved on to another addiction and that was watching tv shows all day watching anime all day i would spend so much time on that just binge watching daily i just wish i spent that time doing something again learning a new skill i would have been so good at it and you're just watching made up shows and it's so normalized now in this generation everyone if you don't watch a tv show like you'll actually get called weird and like they'll just think that there's something off with you because it's so normalized now to just put on a netflix show every time you get home after work if you spend eight hours at work you could spend one to two hours working on yourself and honestly if you skip the gym to sit home and watch a tv show like you really need to get a reality check and realize that you're doing something wrong because again i keep saying this i keep stressing the importance of it use this time time is very important in your teenage years that's what sets you apart from everyone else so if you're actually using that time to develop lifelong habits that are good for you not lifelong habits that are going to destroy your future you're going to be so much at a better place in the future so instead of spending all of your time on these useless tv shows and watching anime honestly i don't even know why i would watch anime to begin with this it was just it's just like a cartoon honestly if you're like a grown man sitting down and watching a cartoon put together like why would i do that i honestly don't know why i did that because like i said everyone was telling me to watch it it's so normalized so that's why i fell into that trap i got addicted to it but i'm glad i cut it off i'm like two years now i haven't watched a single show because I, again i have respect for myself and i want to work towards a future but it's like i said instead of watching these, these tv shows put on a podcast the next addiction that i progressed to was scrolling away on social media a lot of teenagers do this. I mean, you probably have a few friends that when you when you hang out with them, they're just scrolling their life away because it's so normalized. And the problem with social media is it's so degenerate now.
that's pushing this the gender agenda on young men turning them more feminine daily and i'm so glad i got out of this trap i'm so glad i deleted social media because i finally developed respect for myself and my brain kept telling me excuses my brain would constantly tell me not to delete it it would give me reasons that it are just complete bs to keep it and i'm not gonna i fell for those reasons for a long long time until i finally decided to man up and realize that i'm not masculine if i can't delete a nap if i'm controlled by a nap and if you are coping right now if your brain is telling you that you're not controlled look at how much time you spent on the app if it's over an hour then you're being controlled by the app and these apps are designed to keep keep you hooked you accidentally go on it most of the time. I mean, this happened to me. I would go on these apps and scroll away without even realizing it. And then when you finally gain that conscious, you just realize that you spent so much time and you get angry at yourself. If you have felt this before, it's your time to delete social media. It destroys your mental clarity. And again, if you imagine two men, one who at night scrolls away, and copes and tells himself i had a hard day i mean let's be honest bro like what kind of hard day did you have you had school just like everyone else well, that's besides the point point. and let's say there's another guy instead of scrolling away what he does is he reads reading is so powerful and i'm gonna keep on telling you guys this because if i started reading at my earlier ages i would have been so much more knowledgeable than i am right now on so many things in life because reading is getting so much insights from a person that spends their entire life on a specific topic and it gives it to you for 10 to 15 dollars why would you not harness this power to yourself and a lot of teenagers don't read a lot of people don't read after high school even during high school to be honest they only read it when they're forced to read because the school system did kind of push us narrative that reading is not fun so that's why a lot of people don't but when you start to read and cut out all these bad habits fill these bad habits with good habits it doesn't have to just be reading start hitting the gym start doing anything better in your life and so many things will just look better in your life you, you won't feel depressed anymore this constant dopamine hit when you you scroll is just riding your brain or, away and honestly if you're a man and you're spending your time like snapping girls snapping guys like come on man you, just do better you just you have to delete these apps you have to just leave them all on red and i know this sounds again harsh but i left all my group chats because i realized that i can't be spending time in a group chat where i'm constantly texting and looking at what they said and just thinking about it getting triggered by it getting into arguments spending 20 minutes here and there five minutes there and wasting so much of my time when i could be optimizing each part of my day to do something and i'm not gonna lie it's a struggle it's a struggle to seriously be so optimized but that's where, where you have to get to because if you start that off at a young age when you're in your 20s you're going to be like honestly in a better place than all these other people now this one this one is going to trigger a lot of people and that is stop going to parties people are going to tell you it's a social event you know it's good to have social events become more social in life dude what kind of social event is that smoking drinking getting blacked out and honestly i've never been to a high school party and that might shock a lot of people that might make people call me insecure weird you know i was the weird kid at school and everyone bullied me but that's not the case the case is again i had respect for myself and this is the one thing out of all the bad habits I'm, i went over that i did not do because i finally became aware that's when my brain finally got awakened and realized that I'm wasting my time. The crazy part about all of this is your friends will call you weird and call you the odd one out, call you everything, try to make you feel small. Because when they finally see you improving your life, they'll have this sense of jealousy and anger because they know they could be doing that as well, but they're not. So you need to quite literally just cut them off. I know this sounds harsh and i know this entire video kind of sounds harsh but that is the case because you're in a different level as them if you're trying to get rid of partying so you can't be stuck in this cycle where they make you feel like you're the odd one out and then you get sucked right back in the best thing you could do is just cut the ties with them so you could finally get so much higher in life 
I've truly never been drunk and I don't ever want to be even when I'm 21 a lot of people when they get 21 they just want to go drink they go to clubs but come on like what what's the benefit out of that what kind of and they're all gonna say it's fun but what fun do you get out of that and the same people who party every weekend when they see your progress in life those are the same people that will say it's all luck it's all genetics you know you you didn't work hard for it it all came easy like come on what were you doing on your weekends and what was i doing on my weekends you have to realize every time you party you're wasting away your potential and don't listen to this advice that you only live once enjoy your youth this is what everyone's pushing again they're all pushing this degeneracy don't listen to that because you only live once and exactly like you should use that time to improve your future don't use that time to make your future worse because in five years if you keep on partying right now you're going to be in a worse spot than someone who didn't go to any parties and maybe he wasn't the popular kid at school i wasn't the popular kid at school i'm not gonna lie but i got to a point where i didn't care like sure middle school i cared a lot you know i want to be as popular as i can be because that's what got the girls but then you realize once you mature up and you get older that you don't even want to attract those type of girls that care about your popularity. You want to attract a girl that actually cares about you, not because you had clout in high school. And all these kids, they're, they're all clout chasing. They're all trying to fit in with other people. But you have to be authentic to yourself. And don't try to just fit in with these people at these parties. If I ever went to a party, I would be the guy that's just like by himself in the corner. And I don't drink alcohol, so I would have water in a cup but i don't even want to drink out of plastic anymore so honestly i don't even know what i would be doing there and i don't drink soda so i wouldn't have soda in my cup either so like like genuinely like what was the point of me going to that and you might think i'm extreme you might think i'm crazy and you know i'm a loser but you have to be extreme if you want to achieve extreme results instead of making friends with these people that party these people that find their personality in partying, find that as fun. Go get a friend and go out to nature instead. That's so much more fun. And that's what God designed humans to experience. Not getting blacked out drunk, smoking weed, getting high. All that stuff fulfills you in the moment. But in the future, it's going to be way worse for you. There's a huge pandemic that no one is realizing. And that is instant gratification. Again, all of these things I went over, it's all instant gratification. It makes you feel good now, but give it a few years and maybe even months. It's going to be way worse for you. But when you delay your gratification, when you push all these bad habits that are trying to draw you in, and I'm not going to lie, some of these like are so tempting, but when you push them away and then you let your hard work and your discipline take control, then in the future, you're going to finally feel happier and you're not going to have this empty feeling that you know you could have been better, you know that you could have achieved more, but instead, you follow these bad habits. If you take the same path as everyone in your grade, everyone that you know that's around you, that's average, you're going to end up average like them. So you have to do different things. And I know a lot of the things I went over, like I said, it's hard. It's hard to get rid of this stuff, but you have to, because one day reality will hit. One day when you're old, you'll just realize everything that you did was a waste of time. And this is something I realized. So I just wish that at least one person that's listening to this can take that advice and use it to improve their life, because I genuinely want to see people improve their life. I genuinely don't want people to have that same pain that I felt when I was a freshman and I was tiny no respect from others you know i was everything was optimized against me instead you need to start to optimize everything for you 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 can either control or be controlled i always say that because it is true that's all for this video thank you for watching please like and subscribe see you